Hi everyone, and today we're going to be doing part 2 for our warning series. So today we're going to be doing our warning and remove warning commands, and let's get straight into it. Okay, here I am in my text editor, and last episode we left off with the warnings.db. And so I actually installed an SQL Explorer, and just so we can view all of our parameters when we have to add all of our warnings. And it's super simple, so let's do it. So first what we want to do is do bot.command. <coughs> we even add a description for this thing, so something like description warns a user. And then we can do at commands dot has underscore permission permissions right um and now over here we can define whatever permissions we want so i'm just gonna do manage underscore messages equals true so only if the person has the manage messages i guess permission only then they can actually warn people then we could do async def warn and over here we could pass in our actual parameters so we're going to do ctx um we're also going to do member it's going to be next core dot member and then we're going to do we're going to put an asterisk and then do reason which is going to be taken in as a string which will be equal to no reason given or even provided Essentially, what this will let us do is this will make it so everything after when whenever we mention the member, this will become this will be set as the reason. And if nothing is provided for the reason, that's already going to be set to no reason provided. It's really helpful and it's good. And now this is why this is where this comes in the add war function that we did in the last episode. We can just do await add warn and then pass in our parameters so ctx. Um, we can pass in reason and we can pass in number, right? Make sure you do it in the proper order and then boom, that's literally it. <coughs> it's that simple. We can even add a confirmation message. So await ctx.send something like warned member.mention for reason. Something super simple like that would work just fine. You could add an embed, whatever you like. But that's how simple the warn command is. The remove warn is a bit more complex, but I think it should still be really feasible for most of you. So we're gonna do bot the command. Okay, so I really quickly just set this up, right? You should have seen it in a time lapse. And that's just a remove warn command, right? So, and this one I include in manage guild just so you don't have like random moderators or trial moderators being able to remove warns from themselves or from other members. An actual like proper moderator has to do it. You Once again, you can configure this however you'd like. It's up to you. Uh, this is usually what I do though. Now, what we want to do for starting off is async with bot dot db dot cursor make sure it's a function as cursor and open that up and then we're gonna make some changes to our database by doing cursor dot execute wait cursor dot execute and we're actually gonna select all of the person's warns so select reason from warns where user equals question mark and guild because we want to pinpoint the exact user in the exact guild and we want to pass in our parameters which is member.id and ctx.guild.id we can once again cross reference it with here just to make sure that we're doing the proper thing and then we can call this data we can close whatever you like await cursor.fetch1 so you want to get, want to get fetch one of the user's warnings and we want to check if data even exists so if it does exist then we, we just want to go ahead and delete it do cursor.execute 
delete from warns where user equals question mark. I know it already says it, but I just want to type it out with you guys, just so you guys don't feel cheated. I hate when someone does that. But there we go, right? Um, it's pretty much the same thing. Here, I'm going to fix up some of the parentheses. But that's basically, this would delete all of the warnings. And then we just want to, once again, add a confirmation message saying, oh, wait, ctx.send warn deleted users warn. I'm not really trying for the confirmation messages. For my personal bot, yes, I did do something a bit more complex with an embed. This is all up to you. These are just cosmetic changes that you can make. But now let's say data isn't found. And that probably means that there isn't actually a warning in the system for that user. So we could just send wait ctx.send no warnings found. And lastly, what we want to do is you have to make sure you have to commit the data into the actual database. But yeah, that's basically it. These are the two commands that we're going to be doing. But yeah. So here I am in my um, Discord. And so if I were able to, and by the way, this is a better Discord for those of you wondering, it's a private test build provided by Discord themselves. So if I were to do something like warn glow bad, right? It will warn me for bad. And up on screen right now, you should actually see what it shows in the database, where it would say my user ID, the reason, the time and epoch time and the guild. And then what I can do is I can actually remove that one. So remove warn at glow, right? And it says deleted user's warning, right? So now that will be deleted from the database. So then if I try removing another warn from me, it will say no warnings. And there you go. I can warn myself again, like so. At warn. bad and then bam i got warned again and i could keep on doing this it really doesn't matter and there you go that's a warning system in python or discord.py or whatever so now stick around till for tomorrow for next episode and until next time let's go see ya